So that's the end of uh, another week at work. It is 2.27, Um Yeah, good day. I run, run through the day a bit. This morning it was fucking cold. It was two degrees. I lost feeling in my left index finger. It was damn cold. Now it's fucking gorgeous. Um, yeah, we did a induction training thing that we were supposed to complete before work, but we were never emailed. Boss just says, okay, spend the first couple of hours just doing that. So from half seven till like just gone nine, I was doing this shit. And then that was basically break as well. Uh, started properly working at about quarter to ten. We got to a reserve mulching. Mulched there, I uh, went to another reserve uh, for about quarter to twelve. <coughs> that was lunchtime. Till about quarter to one. And we just uh, mulched there until about half one uh, and then we finished we chilled out for 15 minutes headed back to the yard unloaded um, waited around for the boss to finish flirting with this bird this girl who worked here works here as well I don't know because we've got a bathroom that stinks of piss or we got no sorry there's a bathroom that's locked and it's just like a bin it's like derelict and uh, it's been leaking and it fucking stank of piss the other day like the worst smell of piss I've ever smelt really fucking rancid putrid um, so yeah and then it was finished it was like just about quarter past boss was like right have a nice weekend uh, and I realised that like when I was on my break uh, lunchtime and just a bit before I was thinking like I actually don't want to be doing nothing I'm sat here and I want to be actually fucking Forking. I want to be working um, and I realised like yesterday I didn't do yesterday we, we did fuck all yesterday that's when I, I was on the steamroller yesterday that was fun, that was very fun a bit like oh, but at the same time it was good shit um, and yeah like yesterday I came home after oh yeah I, I over it yesterday because there's this fucking this guy brought these uh, all this snacking because I basically I bust my tyre flat my tyre two days ago uh, yesterday, guy gave me a lift, and there were all these cakes and shit, well, all these biscuits, foxes, shit. Well, it weren't foxes, but you know, custard creams and whatnot. And I overate on them. Um, and yeah, just felt pretty shit for the rest of the day. Didn't feel that great. I wasn't doing much physical labour, got home, and didn't feel like I'd done that, that much. Uh, today, however, I, I've done quite a lot of forking, and uh, I feel good. Um, I feel good. And then, yeah, what else today? Yeah, I was on the back of a ute, just forking off mulch while the ute was slowly moving forward as Zach was driving. I had a uh, idle my playlist on, so it was it was pretty dope. We just listened to a lot of classic rock, and toward the end of the day, I pulled out some Megadeth and some Pantera, um, and uh, that was good shit. Just not blasting, but playing prop quite loudly, some heavy metal while just forking mulch into a barrow with great, great sunshine, you know, relative warmth, like 14 degrees, and when you're working it's quite warm, um, it's, mate, banging, it's great, and I'll look back on these days and be like, this was some good shit, because it genuinely is some good shit, um, and then yeah, I don't know what else I want to talk about, I guess I could do a little overview of the week, uh, yesterday came back, Nico had made these weights, um, finished off making these weights out of sand and buckets so you like the bottom end of buckets put a circle cut a hole through the end put them together already filled with sand put them together with a bit of pipe and yeah you've got like 20 kg dumbbells fat dumbbells um, homemade which is damn good of him um, yeah I think I've already spoke, spoken about how I had multiple people like I know one guy offered me a lift another guy offered like to service my bike and repair the tire for me and shit I was just like man having people like this having some it's just nice to be in like a tight community where everyone gets along and we can just take the piss out of each other all the time and it's just it's just fucking good fun it, it, it's good like not one time have I woken up and gone like oh I've got work today you know every day sometimes there's a bit of trepidation about the bike ride toward work bike ride to work um, 
most of the time there never is any. But I'd say pretty much all the time. It's not really, there's no really anxiety regarding the bike ride. It's just like, oh, that's what I've got to do. Um, and when I'm on my bike anyway, I pretty much enjoy it all the time. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a damn good gig. Five minutes of what? What have I talked about for five fucking minutes? Now I've got a three day weekend, so I'm going to try to play a lot of uh, guitar. Um, I've got that, I'm, I'm learning, what am I learning at the moment? Uh, Can't You Hear Me Knocking by The Stones, which is fucking fun to play. And uh, learning bits of Symbolic by Death, which is very, which is also fucking fun to play. I say Can't You Hear Me, hear me Knocking is more fun. Um, yeah, good shit. I got my paycheck, I got 21.32, uh, which is more than I expected, because I expected to get taxed a lot. Um, so yeah, that's just good. My rent's 905, no, 952.5. <coughs> that's me. A month, we got our internet last night. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll start slowly losing weight as I'm doing this, but I'm, I'm not even overly too, honestly, I'm not too bothered at the moment. Like, my goals at the moment are just to keep doing what I'm doing, really. Uh, I guess a, a goal a goal could be to fucking start enjoying life and, yeah, just enjoy my time over here. Like, Jesus Christ, like the first five months, nearly six months in the hostel, yeah, I, I, I learned a decent amount. One of the best lessons I learned, um, was uh, regarding one of my disgusting habits, you tramp Luke, um, self-contempt, negative self-talk, what does that say about you? <laughs> um, one of the best lessons was, yeah, when I was doing that bout of like jogging and stuff, um, just, you know, the idea of how much self-expectation I was laying on myself and... Um, learning that I am only human, human and there's, I can't really expound all that I learned from that at the moment. Um, I think of a lot of what I've learned I can't really articulate yet. I think it's just like my my mind has learned um, yeah, about not, ex not expecting so much from myself, not expecting, not trying to strive toward things that I'm not positive I definitely value a lot. Um, and not, you know, I don't value enough to uh, to sacrifice what needs to be sacrificed to achieve achieve that end. So I can say, for example, I want to run a marathon. And that is a, you know, something a desirable goal that I do, you know, I would I would value, but I don't value it enough to make the sacrifices to be able to do that. You know, all the the amount, the intense amount of training uh, I'd need to get there. Um, so yeah, I'm not willing to sacrifice all of that. And, but in the past, I'd probably say, I, I, yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice that. Um, but I'm not aware of how much I genuinely enjoy it, like the jogging thing. And maybe I can enjoy it a different time, more, at, diff at a different time in my life. For example, the jogging at this time in my life was uh, like compulsively driven, compulsion driven, rather than uh, driven through like spontaneity. Um, so, yeah. Uh, another time in my life, it may be a more genuine drive, a more spontaneous, authentic drive. Uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so just just try to enjoy life. Um, not load myself with shit to do in the evenings. Like, just do what I keep doing at the moment so far. What I seem to be doing. Which is just like not out of self expectation, it's almost like out of there's a bit of a push, but it's not like oh, you've got to do that. You know, well, this is what I'm going to say I get back, I unpack, I you know, undress and just get my shit out of my bag and I'll go for a shower. Oh, yeah, two days ago was the first time I had a completely warm shower in I, I don't know how long, a long time. I don't know, because a lot of the time what I do, what I have been doing, recently I've just been having cold showers, but what I've been doing for a long time, maybe, I don't know, maybe since I've been over in Australia, maybe six months, maybe four months, four to five months, what I do, and when I was back home as well for a bit, I'd have a warm shower and then finish it off cold, 
but now I've just been well over the last two days I've just been having and including today or well, including today three days when I have one when I get back I've just been having warm showers and the first time which was two days ago it was warm and I was like ah oh, I'll turn it to cold and I was thinking like why am I turning it turning it to cold like is it because I want to instill more discipline into myself you know develop my discipline was there a need to at the moment do I actually want to do I value this I was like no and I felt like a bit of like quite a bit of resistance to just turn it off because I've for so long for years I've been having cold showers like over four years and I felt like uh, I didn't want to turn off the hot but I turned it off and I felt good I felt like I'd overcome a barrier which is strange because usually it's the other way around usually it's like to do something uncomfortable like something difficult you feel resistance to it, but now it's like resistance to do something easier it's like when I'll be relaxing in the evening sometimes it'll, it'll feel like a challenge to relax I'll be like oh no just just watch another episode of this shit you know watch another episode of Bojack Horseman or watch a episode of Bojack Horseman and I'll be like ah I shouldn't be doing that and I'll do it and I'll be like I'm actually enjoying this and because I've had a productive day uh, before then prior there to four I feel good because I feel like yeah I've actually deserved it um, so yeah well where, where was I I'll get back I have a shower I get changed so I'm kind of chilled maybe I'll eat something like a bit of toast usually so you know I'll have, I've got one slice left so I need to do some shopping this weekend um, so I'll have like I'll get back after my shower I'll have a slice of toast and I'll eat that slowly while I'm reading and I might read for between one and two hours um, I'm like 69 I'm 69 pages into the history of Western philosophy by Bertrand Russell which is so far very interesting there's a lot of shit I had fucking absolutely no clue about I'm just, I'm just halfway through the chapter on Parmenides which I can't recall much about what I read this morning uh, read Heraclitus and prior to that was Pythagoras and prior to that there was all the um, Milesian, Milesian school uh, was that Thales? I think Pythagoras was Milesian uh, no it was, it was Thales uh, anyway I read that for like an hour or two and then I may cook proper dinner or after that I will maybe chill out a bit on my phone, I don't fucking know but then I play guitar maybe 15-20 minutes um, and then I will cook and then I'll chill out because by the time I'm cooking it's like 7, 6.37 by the time I'm cooked and I'm sat down it's usually like 7, half 7 and then usually I'll have like an hour until I like last night I had a, we watched the last episode of The Pacific uh, me and Nico did and then I went to bed half 8 <laughs> went in bed, watched, read like 4 pages of history of western philosophy went to sleep last night I yeah, woke up a bit before my alarm, woke up feeling fine. I slept the last two nights in a row without interruption. I got to sleep relatively easy, easily as well. Fucking banging. Um, can't tell you exactly why. You know why I'm less anxious? I don't know. Um, I'd like to journal tonight, I haven't journaled. This is like my journaling now. So yeah, I'd like to journal like, written tonight perhaps um, I almost feel like I don't need to because I've got somewhere documenting my life which is here this platform but eventually I would like to turn it into like a memoirs and I don't really want to transcribe this and put that in my book that sounds a bit yeah um, anyway I don't know if that will ever happen but yes yeah, it's an interesting idea that I've had for a while Ala Elliot thank you um, I think that's it Oh yeah, I'll talk a bit about um, me, a bit more about me, this egocentric asshole. Um, yeah, I was thinking like, when I got I got asked to do that interview uh, for a, a newspaper or whatever it was, The Age, um, and I could say, oh, that's just down to luck. Then I was like, okay, I got asked to do that interview simply because I had an interesting story to tell that I told when doing the original interview for the Moreland Council um, 
and I had an interesting story to tell. One, because I had an interesting story. Two, probably because I articulated it well and actually provided interesting details. Um, and I have the interesting story because I, I persisted over here. I could have easily have gone home like most other people did. Uh, I could have not. I could have not looked for a job. I could have stagnated. But I got this job after persisting. Well, I didn't. It was easy to get, but there's little effort. Went into many things over the time. You know, it wasn't just. It was pretty easy to get. I did get pretty fortunate, but nevertheless, to be in a situation where I can get the job, I had to persist. Um, so yeah, it was like down to down to me and my efforts, and then um, oh, fucking people in the background, motherfuckers. I'm distracted now. Um, cunt. Uh, yeah. And then I thought they were using the play part. That'd be very naughty, naughty. And then yeah, I got uh, yeah, well, I got the original. I got asked to do the original interview. You know, Chris was like, "Lukey, come and do this interview shit for the council." Me, Zach, and Jilly. And I got picked, not just because I was just a random person who went, oh, yeah, you. Probably because I've got charisma and I get along with the boss and I can have a laugh and a joke and take the piss. Um, and that's because I am who I am. It's not just because boss went eeny, meeny, miny, fucking mo, bitch. It's because he went, ah, Lukey, you know. You know, and he offered me to do the day before. He was like, Lukey, do you want to do this interview? Would you be happy doing it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and that was... That was, that was on my head, you know, my on my head, on my body, it was because of me that I, you know, got chosen. Partly, anyway, it was at least partly my responsibility. And then, um, yeah, and then I got chosen to do the newspaper thing. Someone said, "Oh, that sounds interesting," because I am who I am. So, you know, sometimes I should give myself a bit of fucking credit. Um, anyway, that's 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 about it. Seventeen minutes, hey. Oh yeah, me and Nico were getting on sound as a pound. Um, potentially I was a bit touchy with him, say, fucking retard and stuff. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do think he was projecting some of his discontent uh, with my going to bed early. Um, I think I handled it pretty well. There was no... You know, l last night there was another thing where he said, Oh, you know, I told you. Yeah, that's it, because... We caught internet footage yesterday, and I was like, I wasn't worried, but I was, I was a bit of concern regarding getting charged for like having a modem fitted or something. And I said, oh, well, we didn't get any charges then. And it was like, I told you we wouldn't. And I was just like, I just says, okay, but I just wasn't positive, or I said something along the lines. I said, I said like, okay, uh, obviously you do know everything. And then he just started talking, and I just kind of walked away. And then I could tell he, he kind of followed me and started talking about something else. So he was potentially made cognizant of his, like, unnecessary assholeness. Um, so, yeah, I say I think I handled it quite well because I was never... There was, there's no no friction. There's, there's, there's not me going, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. There's no me saying, why do you have to be an asshole? I just kind of accept it and I'll just kind of maybe ignore it. Um, or not be as not be as warm toward him, and yeah, maybe that's my fear of conflict. Maybe it is, probably is, to some extent. Um, but when you're living with somebody, uh, I don't know. I, it was just a decent way to go. And if, if he did continue it, I would I would I would have brought it up and saying like, are you like slightly resentful toward me um, because you seem to be projecting? And if he just says oh, I'm just taking the piss or having a joke, I'd say okay, fine. Even though he might not be taking, even though he might not be taking the piss and having a joke, and even though he might not be, even though he might actually be resentful, my saying this would probably made him aware, and him just saying, oh, "I'm just taking the piss," it's probably you know, could be a, could be a facade of just saying, "Yeah, I'm just taking the piss," but silently he could be like, "Ah, I was a bit resentful. I was projecting." Um, it doesn't have to be spoken because that might be there might be an element of pride that might that may have hurt. Okay, now I'm just getting fucking psychoanalytical. Um, so we'll stop it there. And also we'll stop it before 20 minutes. But yeah, shit's going well so far. Generally, some days are a bit like, uh, you know, last night I had a bit of anxiety because I hadn't physically laboured as much. Nevertheless, things are going up a bit. And I'm more like, yeah, with my dad, we spoke the other day and I was more patient and I was enjoying talking to him. Um, which hasn't happened for a good while. Sorry, it's going past 20 minutes. 
But yeah, usually because I'm just very impatient with my dad especially because he talks a lot about himself. But the other day I can't remember what he was talking about. Um, I can't most of the time recall anything he talks about. But I remember being more patient and not getting frustrated in the phone call. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool.